At Touchstone Climbing and Fitness, we love indoor bouldering as a fun, athletic, and social way to enjoy climbing. Before you decide to climb or go bouldering, there are some inherent risks everyone should be aware of. Safety is our priority, and it should be yours as well. Before you get started, make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothing. Anything that might get in the way while running should be removed while bouldering. This includes restrictive clothing, keychains, wallet chains, pocket knives, carabiners, and harnesses. Bouldering is a contact sport. Every fall is a ground fall, and you can get injured if you land improperly. So it's really important to know how to get down before you go up. The first step is to scope out your fall zone. Look at the path of your route and anticipate the direction you will fall if you don't make it to the top. If you notice anyone is resting too close by, kindly ask them to clear the area. Go ahead and move any potential hazards like water bottles, chalk buckets, or stick brushes. If you climb to a difficult move where you might take an unpredictable fall, consider down climbing or dropping off in a controlled manner. From the ground, reevaluate the move before trying again. In the inevitable event of a fall, prepare your body for impact by relaxing. The more tense you are, the more vulnerable you are to injury. Tuck in your head and limbs. Never reach for the mats by extending arms or legs. Locked out knees and elbows are dangerous in any fall. Let the vinyl mats do the work. As you make impact with a mat, roll onto your back or onto your side. By doing so, you disperse the energy of your fall into the foam floors. Resist the urge to stick your landing. Just let your body collapse and roll. When you complete a bouldering route, which climbers call boulder problems, there are three ways to get down. If you finish the climb that tops out, locate the nearest down climb. Proceed down in the same way that you would use a ladder. For climbs that end without topping out, you can climb down by using any big holds nearby, or you can drop off. If you choose to drop off, remember to let the pads do the work. Bend your knees and roll onto your back or side. As you explore the gym, keep your head on a swivel. Beware of climbers above you, to your sides, and around corners. If you're bouldering with children, make sure they understand there's no running allowed in the gym. When using the down climbs, give the person below you ample space before going down yourself. Keep an eye out for active climbers. Be sure to keep a safe distance as you move around the gym. Always watch for climbers above you. When you've found a climb that you want to try, take a moment to survey the wall. Boulder problems are identified with colored tape. Starting holds mark the beginning of a path leading to the top. If a climber is on a boulder problem that intersects with yours, let them finish before you begin. If you're not sure it's your turn, just ask. Outdoor boulderers often use spotters to help climbers land on their feet and onto their pads. With our vinyl covered mats, you don't need to worry about missing the pads, but that doesn't mean there isn't a need for spotting. A spotter should guard the landing area from obstructions and from other climbers. For a nervous boulderer, a spotter can be reassuring, but spotters need to protect themselves as well. Keep your arms bent and your fingers tucked together. Use spoons, not forks. Position yourself close to a climber, but not directly underneath them. You're not trying to catch someone out of the air. Instead, help direct their fall to the mats in a controlled manner. Standing there with your arms crossed doesn't help anyone. While some injuries are unavoidable, it's your responsibility to minimize the risks that cause them. Make informed choices, pay attention, and never try anything you're uncomfortable with. Do this, and you're bound to have a great time. If you still have questions about strategies for reducing risk, ask the friendly Touchstone staff. We're here to help, and we love doing it. Thanks for listening. And thanks for bouldering with Touchstone Climbing and Fitness.